Hi everybody, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here for your daily tarot reading for January 9th, 2018. I'm going to be using these decks right here. Um, as I was getting ready, I uh, was thinking about the day. And it's the first thing that came to my mind was allowing, okay? Being able to allow yourself to do whatever it is you need to do. Not to fight it. Don't fight your emotions. Don't fight your feelings. If something crops up, acknowledge it, okay? Acknowledge your feelings and go with it, all right? The next thing that came into my mind was transition, okay? Transition. It's a time of you, it is a time of transition, and sometimes transition can be hard, okay? So that's where this allowing comes in. Allow yourself to go with the current transition in your life, okay? Even if it's hard, even if it brings up um, undesirable feelings, undesirable emotions, it's all part of the transition, okay? You have to acknowledge these difficult feelings, these difficult times, these difficult feelings to improve, okay? So what I'm trying to say is don't push them down. Allow yourself to feel them, acknowledge them, and move on, okay? So I'm just shuffling as I talk. Oh, there it is. Love, interesting. It is a time of love. It's a time to love yourself. The more that you love yourself, the more love will come into your life, okay? And maybe that's one of the strongest feelings today, January 9th. This card came up for a reason. Maybe somebody's not feeling loved or somebody isn't able to give love because there's an overwhelming feeling of... Um, Re uh, rejection, okay? If I offer my love, will I be rejected? That kind of thing. You know, you have to acknowledge those feelings and allow them to help you move into a state of love and being able to accept love. Allow it to come into your life. Allow it to flow freely from you. Just allow it, even if it's scary card right over here. Interesting. Now I'm just going to shuffle these one more time. I'm going to lay out these and then we'll get right into this. The first deck up here is the Energy, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. This deck is my Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck by Victoria Mosley. And this is the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. We got the Six of Wands, Death, and the Three of Cups. January 9th, 2018. I just want to make sure that this is zoomed in correctly before I go any further. Uh, I guess that's as good as it can get. Okay, so you know, today is, it feels like it's a day of celebration. Okay, it is. With the Three of Cups here, it's a day of celebration. Uh, it's a day of celebration because it's the end of the old. It's the end of the old you. It's a time of opening up. It's a time of releasing the fear, okay, and loving yourself. We have this love card here. This is the goddess of the moon. This is forgiveness heals. What I need to tell you is that it's a time of fertility, okay? It, to, today is a day of you accepting your past, letting it go, and moving on to a new you. 
okay? It's the first day, it may not be the first day because you may have already started, but it's really the first day of, of realizing that your past was there for a reason. It brought you to where you are today. The lessons that you have learned have opened you up to something new, okay? You really should be celebrating yourself today, celebrating your accomplishments. That's part of the transition. When's the last time you did that? When is the last time that you allowed yourself to feel good about who you are, okay? It's, it's really a time to let go of the past. It's the first day of the new you. It's the first day of your transformation, okay? Um, this goddess of the moon card, that's about intu intuition, okay? It's, it's really about using your gifts, listening to your intuition, really acknowledging that you're receiving these gifts, okay? Um, the goddess of the moon brings you all kinds of information, okay? It's, it's coming from uh, the outer world, okay? It's coming from the unknown. Um, you may, it's like you might um, follow it. What I'm trying to say is you might decide to um, do something completely out of your realm today or, you know, in tomorrow or the next day, this week, whatever, but this is for January 9th, that it's completely out of your character, okay? You do something that's out of your character. And when you do this, you followed your intuition, you followed your inner guide, your inner guide told you to do this something that um, you weren't quite comfortable with, but you did it anyway. You thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna step out into something that I don't know much about. I'm gonna step into my fear, per se or not even your fear, you're just gonna do something different. Your intuition tells you to uh, do it this way and you've never done it that way before. You end up doing it that way and it pays off, okay? Like I said, it's a day of transition. It's that kind of thing. It's where you let your, your intuition drive. You let your, your inner guide tell you where to go. You follow your hunches. Um, you trust yourself. Okay, so it's a day of transition. It's a day of allowing. It's a day of loving yourself to the point where you trust your feelings. You love yourself so much that you trust yourself. Okay, um, for many of us, we have forgotten. We have forgotten who we are. We've forgotten where we come from. We have forgotten that we are spiritual beings. We have uh, lived so long in this mere materialistic world that it's time to transition out of that way of thinking. And today could be the start of your transition where you decide, you know, it's not about the materialistic things. It's not about society. It's about loving one another. It's about extending my love um, without compromise, uh, without conditions, okay? So I just feel like it's a day of opening up. It's a, it's a, it's a real day of transition from, um, from being uh, materialistically... Uh, oh God, my mind went blank and that happens a lot. Mere materialistically driven to being love-driven, okay? And that's where the transition happens. So I think this is the day where many people are, are moving from one period of their existence to another, all right? Um, many people have just been blinded so much by the fear of society and by uh, what everybody else is going to think that they haven't allowed themselves to be real. They haven't allowed themselves to speak their truth. They haven't allowed themselves to follow their intuition for fear of what the world will think. And today is a day of letting that go. With the death card, it's the end. Okay? It's the end of that thought. It's the end of that feeling. It's the end of that era. It's the end of that you. It's a time of 
of uh, rebirth. It's a time of fertility. It's a time of discovering your soul's purpose and letting yourself go with the flow, letting yourself follow your intuition, letting yourself um, take the lead in your own life and not letting anybody else uh, drive your ship. You're in charge, okay? Um, and I see a victory, okay? With the Six of Wands, it's a victory. It really is. It's you having the victory, the ultimate victory, okay? This card is from the Archangel uh, Raphael Healing Oracle deck, and I'm going to read it. It's Forgiveness Heals. Because a lot of us, have not been able to transition into this spot because of forgiveness. Forgiveness is one of the biggest hurdles that people have to overcome in this lifetime. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace and health. It's time to let go of the past and celebrate your future. Take the step into the unknown and allow your intuition and inner guide to lead you to success. Love yourself. so much that fear doesn't exist January 9th 2018 talk to you later this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot